guys it's your girl ray and i'm back with another vlog for you guys well this isn't really technically a vlog but more so uh, you can tell by the title what it is it's a q a video and i know you guys have a lot of questions since my very first video i did kind of give you guys an insight of who i am and um a little bit of the things that i do and what to expect on my youtube channel but the other day i decided to um ask you guys on instagram what you wanted to know more about me and so here i currently have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty and that's the number that i wanted to do y'all so we're gonna be doing 20 questions um and these questions are like always asked like if you're on Instagram and you ever do that little box for questions or whatever, these are like the main ones that are always being asked. And then there's also a few that um, uh, are new. So let's just jump right into it. <clears throat> so I wanted to do them in a certain order so that it didn't seem like all over the place, but... Um, it don't matter. Y'all can get the questions how y'all get the questions, okay? <clears throat> so the first one is, why are you single or are you single? And to answer that question, someone may be mad when I answer this question. However, they already know. So currently, your girl is single. I've been single since summer 2019. You know, I have dealt with, you know, talking to different people of that nature or whatever. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely single until someone actually romantically asks me, you know, will you be my girlfriend? We're not... Because I feel like a lot of girls do this, oh, just because you're kicking it with a dude and, you know, everything feels all great and it seems like y'all in a relationship and this, that, and the third. No, I'm not even going to play that with you. Even if you are telling other people we're together and whatnot, until we come to an agreement that me and you are a thing and we're together outside of just us talking, we single. So... There's that. <clears throat> Someone asked um, an idea of a perfect date. And honestly, it, I wouldn't say it takes a lot to impress me. I feel more so that it's the thought for me and the effort that you put into it. It doesn't have to be no extravagant ass date. But my idea of a perfect date, um wake up early morning get dressed do something do an activity early in the morning um later on that day you know get dressed up go to dinner or lunch or something me personally i just want the whole day to feel amazing like nothing but good vibes um i love going to the beach that's definitely my escape place so i want to say you know going to the beach could be one of the little activities throughout that day but i also like doing new things i don't like repeating the same activity a lot unless i really like it so i guess my idea of a perfect date would just be enjoying each other's company throughout the whole day um you know getting dressed up real nice getting to know each other better and just ending it off on a good note like just a totally perfect day. Um, someone said, where do you see yourself in five years? And as of right now, I just turned 22. And honestly, I think I did answer this the other day. I said, I just wanna be done with college. Um, I do want to experience working in a hospital, but that's not something that I wanna continue doing like okay let me try to explain this better i don't want to be working for no one else and i know a lot of people say that but me personally like 
when I had a talk with one of my friends before and they were basically just explaining everything and you know wanting to be your own boss your own person <clears throat> it just never really resonated with me because I was so hell-bent on just you know school work school work school work and you know just going through life like that and you know also having fun in between time but now as i'm getting older and the type of lifestyle that i want to live i do still want to you know um get my bachelor's um you know i still want to be uh i still want to focus on you know working in the nursing field however that's not something that i want to do throughout my life until retirement um not many people know but after I do, you know, a couple years at working in a hospital, I do eventually want to start my own clinic for less fortunate families. I feel like because there are a lot of less fortunate families out here, they're not getting as much help as you guys may think they are from the government. And you don't see a lot of people go get dental care. You don't see a lot of people go get constant checkups, um, you know, vaccines, shots, you know, whatever it may be. You don't see that happen a lot, especially in the black communities. So I just want to be able to provide something like that for them. But yeah, in five years, I just expect to be done with college, of course. Um, I should be working in a hospital. I want to have kids. I mean, I'm not set on a time frame that I do want to have kids. Of course, everybody always says, you know, 25, but me personally like <laughs> i love kids let me start there i love 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 kids however until that time comes and either i'm going to be financially stable or somewhere around those lines my kid is going to be straight regardless so i'm not rushing on that but you know maybe around that time hopefully you know i have a great significant other and you know we decide to have kids but just to sum up all of that i just hope that i'm well off in five years and continue to do what i need to do the next question is where are you originally from so a lot of times everybody gets this confused because since i was young I literally was always back and forth from South Florida, Fort Lauderdale, and San Diego, California. So, on my birth certificate, it says San Diego. That's where I was born. That's where I was raised. However, I was raised back and forth. My mom's side of the family lived in um, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And um, my dad and my grandma were living in Cali at the time. The whole backstory of my mom and dad meeting, you know, he has family down in Florida as well. So one of those summers he went down there, they met. That's a whole nother story. Um, so yeah, they were always back and forth visiting each other. And um, I ended up being born in California. Then some of my childhood, I went back to Florida. Then I went back to Cali. Then like literally i was always back and forth middle school i did in florida but i also did some middle school in cali um i did my uh, first two years of high school in cali and then i moved back and finished my last two years so that my mom could uh you know be there with me for prom and graduation graduated in florida then went back to cali for college and then moved to georgia and then did college out there, then moved back to Florida. Um, and yeah, so I'm from San Diego, California. I could claim that I'm from Florida. And of course, a lot of people assume that I'm from Florida because like I said, I done went to schools down there, but I've also been to schools in Cali as well. Um, and I've been back and forth so much that you wouldn't have even known type thing. But, um, I'm claiming San Diego, man. I'm sorry. Even though Cali is so played out to me, I'm not claiming Florida. Like, it's just not that. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, the next question is your favorite color. My favorite color is pink. Um, I know it's cliche, but 
for some reason like you know i have other colors that i also like that's like running up to you know me liking pink however every time i'm grabbing stuff it's literally pink this pink that pink this and pink is just cute like it's a girly color but i like what i like um I didn't even tell y'all. I need to get my lashes done. So if if my eyes look a little retarded, that's why. Okay. So don't be trying to come for me. Thank you. Um. Next question. Oh well, this kind of goes to uh, Are you single? Why are you single? Do I talk to someone? So yes, I do currently talk to someone. Um, we've been talking for four months now and um that's why i was saying that i could say i'm single i'm not single but i'm baby i don't even get into that but i do talk to someone i don't talk to anybody else even though realistically i could but when you're taking someone serious and you know you both have a come to an agreement about certain things i feel like there's a certain a level of respect that you should have for one another which is not talking to other people while you're dealing with somebody trying to take someone serious on that level anyways um someone asks what do you like to do and i feel like the question is very vague like what do i like to do what but overall what i like to do I like getting my hair and nails done. Um, I love laying up and watching Netflix or like a good show. I love going on walks. Um, I love being out in nature. And like I said earlier, I'm very adventurous. So I like trying new things. It literally could be anything. Um, but those are like the main things. Lately, um, I have been practicing on my hair. So I do like trying to, you know, do these little installs and stuff. I had redid this install on myself. It's time to come out. So probably later today, I'm gonna actually take this out and this company sent me a wig. So that'll be in the next YouTube video. Um, yeah, but they sent me a wig and so I'm gonna install that. Um, next question. Oh. <laughs> Someone asked if your girl was pregnant. Baby, no, I am not pregnant. Far from that. I literally just got off the menstruum. Yeah, no. Like I said before, that's not something I'm planning to do. Um, and I'm, listen, I'm pro-choice when it comes to, to abortion. And if you don't know what pro-choice means, that just means like, I'm for whatever you were for, that's your body. Um, However, me personally, if it did come to a point where I did end up pregnant, until I'm in that situation, I may not know what I'm really gonna do, but as of right now, I don't think I'd be killing my child. I've never been pregnant yet, I've never gotten an abortion, none of that, so I don't know how I would feel in that situation. But as of now, I'm not, um, I'll be keeping my child, but no, I'm not pregnant. Your girl is very much, you know, I look a little fat because I just ate. I ate some Indian food. Y'all should try it. It's definitely good as hell. <laughs> so the next, the next question is, how tall are you? I am 5'5". Five five. I know in my Instagram pictures, I look a lot taller um, because my legs are skinny. So I feel like that's probably why I look really tall. But 5'5 five five is tall anyways. I feel like that's your average height. And I like my height. I've been my, this height since... Um, I want to say a freshman or a sophomore in high school so ever since then i'm like i haven't really grown like yeah i think when i was a freshman i was like five four and then like five five was it for me so i feel like i'm the great height feel like i'm a great height um yeah let me i'm gonna say that to this tv see how i don't know but um yeah <laughs> What's your type? Um, I don't have a type. I don't discriminate. Um, I want to say when I was when I was in Cali, there wasn't many, you know, black people at the school. I could probably count on my hand, including me, um, who was at that school. 
So I was, and then plus because, you know, many of you may not know, but San Diego is like literally the bottom of Cali, damn near near um, the Tijuana border. So it was a lot of uh, Mexicans, a lot of Filipinos, um, a lot of Asian people. And then plus, um, I didn't mention, the reason why my dad and my grandma was, you know, in Cali, that's not where they're from. They're originally from New Jersey. But with my grandma being a travel nurse in the military, you know, the military always changes a lot, you know, their bases, this, that, and the third. So she ended up stationing in uh, Cali. And so there was a lot of military families and stuff out there as well. So, you know, I have, you know, dated a white boy before. Did we date or did... I don't even know on that. I don't know if we dated or not, but um, I did date this Asian boy before. Um, I talked to a Filipino before, but um, yeah, that's about it. Like, I don't even know discriminate. I don't think I have a type per se. I feel like as long as you look good to me, or decent enough and your personality makes up for all of that then I'm pretty much you know all for it but then sometimes I feel like you need to be very mindful on who you give your time to because motherfuckers do not be deserving it at all I don't care how fine you are what type of status you have all of that it means nothing to me I'm gonna look at you like you're regular at the end of the day because a lot of times when I do these questions uh, boys seem to always ask, oh, would you mess with me if I had a blue check? Would you mess with me if I was famous, if I had money, this, that, and the third? Baby, Ray do not care about none of that because at the end of the day, what's in your pocket is what's in your pocket. That has nothing to do with me. Unless you decide to give me money, that's that. I will never come out the mouth asking a dude to give me anything unless he wants to do it for me. I'm not doing that. Unless you're my dude. If we're just talking and mingling and stuff like that, you won't catch me doing that. You won't be having to, you know, say if we went um, somewhere, I don't know, and you just so happen to surprise me with, you know, a gift or something. You got me that gift because you got it for me, not because I asked you to do it. I'm not going to be like, oh, let's go shopping, let's go do this, that, and the third, no way. No, I'm good. Doesn't mean that I don't want it, but I'm, I'm just not that type. I'm sorry. So... Oh. yeah um but yeah the whole blue check thing and you know all of that that means nothing to me that has zero like damn what's the word i don't know what the word is but it means nothing like literally social media is like a whole bunch of followers and stuff like that what do you bring outside of that what do you bring outside your money because even if a dude has so much money you think Half the girls he done linked up with, he's spending money on them? No. So, even if I was to deal with somebody that had money, he's either going to spend it or he's not. And that goes for somebody that has a blue check. What does that mean? You have all these followers. Okay, cool. What What now? What is that supposed to do for me? Like, that means nothing. Like I said earlier, anybody that decides to talk to me or decides to approach me, whatever the case may be, I'm looking at you like you're regular. I, we're on the same pedestal. You may have more money than me. You may have more followers than me. You may have um, more, uh, uh, what's the word? You may know more people, whatever the case may be. I don't care. Um, the next question is, best way to make new friends when starting over? All I can say on that though, the best way to make new friends, I feel as though you need to go out um put yourself forward i feel like a lot of times when you're like uh like shelled off and you give off like this demeanor of like oh don't talk to me da, da, da. like nobody's gonna want to approach you you know what i'm saying i've learned that for myself because i i wouldn't say that i that i'm not um an approachable person but my my face is like this all the time and it's not because, oh, I'm over here with an attitude or I'm upset or whatever the case may be. It's never none of that. Half the time, that's really just, you know, what people say. You got the resting face. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's what it is for me. 
Um, cause I remember like a lot of times, even when I was younger, like after becoming friends with people, they would be like, oh, I remember this one girl, I will never forget it. She was like, bro, I um, would have never thought like, you're so nice and so fun. Before I even started speaking, I thought you were the beat. I'm like, well, damn, like, and that's not the first time that I received that because of like my demeanor, but at the same time, I'm not gonna be just around, mm, <laughs> just fucking cheesing, I'm not doing that. However, if, you know, I see someone and they're looking at me, you know, I'll do one of those little, nice little smiles or whatever, but nine times out of 10, my face is just gonna be like this unless I'm laughing about something. Um, but I feel the best, yeah, I feel like the best way to make new friends, you need to put yourself forward, you know, try to mingle and speak to people, you know, go to, you know, different like hookah lounges, go hang out, go to different restaurants. You'll be surprised the type of people that you can en encounter and meet up with. But I won't, me saying this, it's not easy to make friends. Currently, right now, I don't even have any friends just off the fact that the chances and time that I did put into certain friendships, it was always a waste. And then I used to think back, like, was it me? Was I the reason why, you know, some of these relationships with these girls will fail? And then I would notice literally every friendship, every girl that I've ever had a falling out with has literally came back into my life trying to apologize or whatever the case may be, like trying to, um, fix the situation and apologize for their actions and it's more so like, okay, now I know it's not me. Next question, what do you do for a living? So currently I do not work right now. I, back to my way first video, I was working as a receptionist at a clinic. Um, but yeah, I left that job sometime Bef no, after the summer. And then ever since then, I was hanging out, partying, doing the whole nine. So currently, um, I'm trying to find a new state that I want to live in. Um, I do need to transfer over to another school. Doing school online right now. And I need to find another job. If you want to know, um, you know, I always do a little other things i'm not gonna go into depth about it it's nothing crazy but i always have money so if y'all was wondering like oh what the hell should we be doing how should we get money whatever whatever I just know i be having money but yeah right now i'm not working so yes what's some good relationship advice i feel like that's very vague but i feel like through all the stuff that i've been through out of my 22 years of living and I feel like only having one serious relationship don't be naive um put yourself first always and I know this is very cliche to say but self-love is always the best love I feel like when you're getting into these type of situations because I feel like everybody only sees the good in relationships like when people broadcast like those uh, cute uh, relationship videos you know going on an island together or you know going on little dates this time and the third yes it can be good but realistically speaking a relationship is a lot of work a lot of work so i understand why some people tend to be single for as long as they are it, it, sometimes it is because you can't find that person but really it's for peace of mind when you're allowing another person into your space and getting to learn someone else and just all their maybe bad habits and good habits plus your own it's very hard it's very hard but you have to find, I wouldn't say find, don't go looking for anyone. Don't go looking for anyone. But when you do come across someone that you do decide to give your time and effort into, just be very observant, be very aware. When you're seeing things, you need to keep those in the front of your mind and don't push them to the back because a lot of times we always, I've seen this video, someone said, we always ignore the red flags 
knowing that they're right there because everything seems so good and peachy in the beginning and then now you're three years in and you're dreading those red flags that they were showing way in the beginning but you didn't care to look at them because you're trying to see the good in people understand when someone shows you who they are the first time you need to believe them that's it believe what they're showing you do never never go off of what somebody is telling you because literally that's manipulation let me just start there somebody could easily tell you this that and the third giving you the world okay actions speak that's how i feel if you're you know um if you're just gonna keep talking and talking and talking and talking and talking i'm not going for it i'm sorry you gotta go because i go off the actions if we're just sitting up and you know we have yet to go on a date or you know you're not applying your words to actions it's just like what are we doing at this point you're wasting my time and i'm wasting your time because i'm not feeling it so the best thing i can say is self-love is the best love so when you do decide to deal with someone you will know um when it comes to time that you need to put yourself first. Because like I said, a lot of times we try to look past and avoid the red flags and they're right there. But I feel like if you're in a space where you've healed from past trauma and you're big on self-love at this moment and loving yourself, you are not gonna put up with that shit. Once you see what's going on, you're gonna be like, oh yeah, no, mm-mm. What happened with you and Rod? So, with this question, I know a lot of people have been trying to speculate or try to put two and two together. And honestly, I really don't want to speak on this or ever speak on it again. But I feel like I'm just going to give you, like, the blood of raw truth. Um... How do I say this? <laughs> we were friends. Um, I can say we'll always be friends. However, we currently do not speak and I respect, you know, what he has going on. And I've never been the type to overstep with anyone. However, I don't, I don't really know what to say on that situation. There's really not much to say. Of course, you know, he may put out um, a couple songs and you may hear little things, you know, of him referring to this girl, that girl, me even. Um, all I can say is he's great company, a good friend. But there's not much more that I will speak on that. I don't want to speak on it ever again. Um, he's living his life. I'm living mine. And that's pretty much it on that. You know, I wish him well. And it's always been nothing but good vibes with me and him, honestly. Like, he's a really good person. Okay, so someone asked, who's your favorite YouTuber to watch? So let me be completely honest with y'all. I do not sit up here and watch people on YouTube. That shit is not something I do. I've never been into it. The most that I'll watch on YouTube is if I need help trying to, you know, fix my lace or something like that. Or if I'm watching um, some a music video. Outside of that, me personally, the only reason why... Um, I don't watch YouTubers is because I'm pretty sure you guys know of the shade room teens and they're more common of posting like, you know, the YouTubers and all that. I feel as though maybe like a couple years ago when everybody was trying to get on the wave of doing YouTube at one point. Well, they're still, they still are, but at one point it was very like high. Um, I just felt like everybody was just doing any and everything to just not necessarily get clout but i guess like a fan base and a lot of times it wasn't real like that's why my youtube i'm not speaking down on anybody because i'm still new to youtube however my youtube is just only going to consist of mainly of vlogs 
um, me hanging out and things of that nature or me doing hair installs or try on hauls but it'll never be on let's say fake pranks and stuff like that stuff like that just like Ooh, like that's kind of why I put like a bad taste in my mouth because I feel like if you're gonna do anything I feel like why why shouldn't it be genuine? You know what I'm saying? Like even with the fake relationships and all of that like a lot of stuff on YouTube is fake and the fact that a lot of these um, These creators make it seem so real to these younger kids and whatever It's kind of like I don't know I just don't mess with it, honestly. I, I just don't respect it. And me personally, if I was to do pranks and stuff, I would rather my stuff be genuine and real. I just feel like the fake stuff is just like a turn off. Cause especially when you can tell it's fake, it's just like, bro, what are you doing? So I don't know. I just never been the type to sit up and watch anybody on YouTube. I don't want to say that it's corny, but um, just like how I like watching, you know, different shows on Netflix, I guess that's pretty much the same when it comes to people wanting to watch the lives of other people. But, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, what made you want to start YouTube? So, um, in my very first video, I did explain why I did just start, um, decide to start YouTube. Excuse me. And it was mainly because one of my friends, you know, spoke to me and was just telling me all the benefits that I can get out of, you know, starting YouTube. And, you know, just the fun things that are behind it. And honestly, I do enjoy doing YouTube. I do enjoy like making these videos for you guys. More so, I like doing them because when it comes to like me posting on Instagram, Especially like if I'm out and stuff, I always like, I wouldn't say I record everything, but I'm this type, I love making memories. I love taking pictures. I love taking videos. So I was doing that a lot on Instagram and I get so many views and people that like to watch and, you know, always complimenting and this, that, and the third. So it just made sense. Like, you know, why not just do YouTube videos? You guys are like watching me now. I'm not saying that in a cocky way. But people already like watching what I show on Instagram. So it's like, why not just put these videos in, you know, in a longer, um, fuck. <laughs> but make these videos longer for you guys to actually sit and enjoy and watch and just, you know, get more in depth about who I am as a person and not just seeing, you know, um, 15 second clips and you know a couple pictures here and there because like I said earlier from demeanor and stuff like that I'm pretty sure Just looking from my Instagram that I probably look so stuck up I look mean whatever the case may be because I've heard that too before but honestly, I'm not I'm a very cool laid-back person. I'm very easy to talk to You know, it's never no bad vibes unless you piss me the hell off um, what's your idea of being blessed? My idea of being blessed would just have to be being at peace within yourself. Um, I don't want to say being blessed in a sense of being wealthy. I feel like just being blessed would just be being able to see another day me being able to wake up today um my family still being able to be here living and breathing and are healthy as well as myself you know having god in our corner so i don't feel like because i think a lot of times when when people um see blessed they always initiate it with you know all the things that god has made provided for them or even the devil has provided, but you know, people mistake that for being God and it's not. So, yeah, I, I think that's what that is. Um, someone asked, how is my mental? Currently, um, you know, I still have my moments where depression tries to take over. You know what I'm saying? Depression tries to take over. And 
honestly it's it's a battle every day like i feel like i struggle with that because you know my mom has talked to me before and let me know that you know she has gone through depression you know she's dealt with that as well as like my dad so it's like i don't know i feel like depression is more common than people try to make it out to seem and you know and not getting proper help doesn't really fix anything neither but for me personally what i do when i feel like you know depression is trying to take over you know like i said i love going on walks i love being um at the beach especially by myself you know just taking in hearing the waves and just being at peace that helps me a lot and because i don't really have many people to talk to i write i write i write i write so that definitely helps a lot too so if you ever feel like you know you're in one of those situations just relax put on some music you know go for a walk try to leave the space of where you feel like you know you're about to get in content because i feel like a lot of times when we just sit and lay in the bed listen to depressing music or just don't want to do anything that's gonna you know get consistent and then you're just gonna be in this downward spiral of depression and you're not gonna want to do anything so i feel like before it gets worse just try to like do little different things that that you're comfortable with doing like some people like to paint just different things like that to help you but overall my mental is okay like i said i do have my moments where you know stuff really does bother me but then i always go back to you know praying to god and just trying to have peace of mind but i i don't know if you guys do this as well because i'm trying to get out of that habit but don't only pray to god when you are in a bad situation you feel like everything's falling apart so you're starting to pray but when everything's good you're forgetting to pray you gotta get out of the habit of doing that and the last question says how did you um grow my social media so me growing my social media i give thanks to um sid I don't want to even call him King Sid, but that's who you guys know um, his name by on YouTube. But um, yeah, when we did our first video on YouTube uh, for the Smasher Pass, um, I think before uh, the video went viral, I had like at least like, um, how much followers did I have? I think I had like 11K or uh, 13K. And um, it was around there. And then when the video dropped, my followers increased. I think later on that night, I ended up hitting 20K on Instagram. And then um, we didn't do any more YouTube videos together. And from that point on, my followers would just grow because I was being more consistent in me uploading pictures and, you know, um, doing the little videos on Insta story and things of that nature. So the thing is, when growing your, um, your platform, you have to be very consistent. Like with this YouTube stuff, I'm trying to be as consistent as I can be because like I said before, I'm doing this by myself, you know, I'm editing all my videos by myself. And even though it may seem like it's very easy because it is, but it is very time consuming. So it's like, unless you're going to take it serious, you need to take time out to actually sit and edit these videos and think of other ideas of videos that you are going to do and produce for, you know, the people that do decide to watch. Um, but yeah, the main thing is you have to be consistent. You have to be consistent and that's with any social media platform like all my social medias have literally uh progressed um i have 65k on instagram but i did reach 65.5k however i lost that uh that 0.5 because i wasn't being consistent um my followers grew on tiktok i have 92,000 followers over there 
my Twitter followers have grown. I have um, 30K over there. So it's not a lot of followers because I know there's way other people out here that have like 100K plus or way more. I'm still grateful for my followers. Um, I'm grateful for Sid uh, allowing me to be in that video to allow me to grow some type of platform. But um, yeah, that's pretty much how I got my social media platform. But yeah, you have to stay consistent if you want to, you know, maintain having such a big platform. So that concludes the 20 Q&A questions that you guys have asked me. I really appreciate you guys for taking the time out to ask me questions. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope to see you guys soon on my next video. Like I said, the next video, it'll be an upload of me installing a wig. I know a lot of guys don't really care to see an install of a wig, but still go show love, like, and subscribe, as well as like, subscribe on this video and comment. Tell me some more videos that you may or may not want to see, and I'll provide those for you guys. Thank you again for watching, and I'm signing out.